if you had a name the documentary of the inaugural season for SB Loyal, what would you name it? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> wow. A good name for the season? Hmm, that's a very good question. Uh, the roller coaster, <laughs> something like that. Wow, it has to be in the name, doesn't it? it loyal to the soil, for me. You, just, you know, we've we've lived that, we've lived that expression in our actions. Um, loyal to our game model. Um, yeah, loyal to the soil. That'd be nice. I don't know, but it was, it was some, it, I don't know, some of the lines of the line, like what next? Because that's kind of how it felt, you know? Like it was just like, what's gonna happen next? Like with the season, obviously the, the stuff that happened towards, towards the end of the year, you know, you know, playoffs, like it was just, it was literally like what next? Like we didn't, we didn't know what was gonna, gonna happen from, from one day to the next, but I think, like I, like I mentioned, testament to the guys for, for sticking through all that stuff. For, you know, they everybody got through it together, and uh, and it's something we'll all we'll all benefit from moving forward. You know, and this could be the case for a lot of teams, but I would just say like perseverance. I would just say that uh, you know not only because of the COVID, but I think you know we dealt with a lot of stuff um, off the field as well, and and certain things that happened to us as a team, and so uh, you know there are a lot of guys kind of in and out and. Um, overall, you know, we persevered to, to, till the end and, um, you know, we stood for, you know, we stood for, for what was right in the end and um, even if it meant, you know, sacrificing the chance at the moment of possibly making the playoffs, um, you know, I think that's, that it ended on a good note in that way. I would say, uh, yeah, I would just stick with the roller coaster. So many mixed emotions that went up, down. There was hard, hard times behind the scenes where, where it was just, just struggles that, you know, supporters don't get to see that. It was more internal, but, and then from the outsides of, 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 you know, like going to Phoenix, beating Phoenix, that emotion that we felt, and then, yeah, it's just, yeah, I would say the roller coaster. I don't know, I mean, I think it would be something like, the team that never made the playoffs, like the team that would have made playoffs, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I think that, uh, like something like that. I mean, this team, if we would have just got in, I think we would have had a shot. And I think I definitely go like out of this year and just being like, dang, you know what I mean? Like this team was doing really well at the end of the, at the, end of the five, six games we had. And yes, we were playing against you know, the same conference and stuff like that, but you know, I truly believe in these guys. I think the coaches believed it too, so somewhere around that, you know, in that standpoint of, yeah, I don't know, playoffs or something, that would have been sick, yeah. It's definitely, definitely a trialing journey. I mean, I think you learned a lot about individuals, but we also learned about, like, the soul of our club. Um, I think that at the end of the day, the, the football aspect of this is, like, the central part of what we do. Um, but this year and like what S San Diego Loyal's purpose this year as a club had very little to do with on the pitch. It had, you know, it was kind of written a long time ago that it would be about something bigger than football. So um, I'm not sure many people in 2020 in San Diego Loyal will even think about the football and that's just the reality of it. So, but in a, broader scope of things, that's what football can do to a community. It can just be a starting point from where a community then derives its, I guess, its centering. Um, so in that sense, it's humbling to be a part of because when your job is football and then literally the club becomes everything but football, um, it's a humbling thing to see and how like small you are. Um, it was a chaotic journey. At the end of the day, I think we're all proud as part of the club to, to be a part of, of Team One. Maybe building an identity. Yeah, I think we, we, when you're starting a club, you're trying to build an identity, right? You wanna, we wanna distinguish ourselves from every other USL team, off the field, on the field. So when I watch USL games, 95% of the games I watch, if you took off 
like the moniker at the top with who's playing and they all had the same jerseys, I would think it was the same. It's just the same team every time. Every game is the same team, the same formation, the same style, the same uh, game model. It just all looks the same. I think if you turned on an SD Loyal game and you were watching, you'd go, oh, that's San Diego, right? I think if you look at the way we do things as a club from the outside, you would go, oh, that's San Diego. Like, that's a San Diego comment, or that's a San Diego action, or that's a loyal, um, intentional tweet, or whatever it is. So I don't think we're all the way there yet, but I think we have the building blocks now to say, like, we are becoming who we want to be. And because of the way the season went, on and off the field, we've been able to, I think, accelerate that. Because as John Wooden said, sports don't build character, they reveal it. And we had tons of adversity. I'm sorry, adversity doesn't. We had tons of adversity and crazy things happen, but our character came out. And uh, I'm really proud of the character that came out.